Hi everybody, Kyle Gordon here. Today looking at some SM10 wedges with Corey Gerard from Titleist. These things are beautiful. Tell me about the line. What are we seeing? Some new lofts and bounces. Tell me all about them. They are beautiful, Kyle, thank you. Number one, I think the, the thing golfers are gonna love, you're gonna get a lower ball flight, much improved feel, and maximum spin. There's a couple of things we've done. The profiles have changed, really subtle changes that give you confidence at address. The center of gravity has moved up and forward in the higher lofts. What does that give you? Gives you lower ball flight, more control, and an incredible feel as well. Awesome, so I'm looking at a new finish here. This is reminding me of a few iterations ago, but talk about this new finish. It's nickel, so the new nickel finish sits perfectly between what we have here. Okay. Tua Chrome is very popular, but for the player who, a bit too much glare for them in the sun, Okay, you can either move to jet black or we've got this nice Goldilocks here in the middle. All right, so a question we get a lot in store is how often should I replace my wedges? Great question. Typically, after 75 rounds, you'll start to see that spin drop off. Doesn't mean the wedge is broken, but you're gonna get some inconsistencies. The key thing to look out for is if the grip is done, the grooves are probably done. All right, I like that, I like that. So a lot of options available both left and right-handed. I think we need to talk to one of our master fitters. So you should head to a golf town near you, speak to one of our master fitters to get you fit for a set of wedges this year. 